Hi guys, my name is Nick and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to control a servo using the ATtiny5 and the Atmel assembly programming language. So as we can see, the servo just cycles between two positions at a timed interval. And as we can also see, the ATtiny5 is a very tiny chip. And that's why when I got it, my friend put it on a breakout board just so that it's more manageable to use when prototyping. Anyways, the 5 volts for the servo goes to the 5 volts on the AT-95 and the ground for the servo goes onto the ground for the AT-95 and these can both be hooked up to some external power supply uh, for 5 volts. In this case, I'm just using this uh, really nice breadboard adapter which will take 9 volts from my battery and bring it down to 5 volts for the chip. Anyways, then we have the PWM line for the servo, and that goes over to PB0. And I chose PB0 because it has the PWM capabilities with the timer zero in the chip. And we'll see uh, where this is used later in the program. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all of the hardware stuff. The most complicated stuff was in the code where I spent a couple days trying to make it all work. So um, I guess we'll move on to that. See ya. Okay, so here is the code for the servo controller. Now I'll just be giving a brief overview to some of the parts of the code, but if you'd like to learn more, Atmel has some great documentation online, and I'll have the links posted in the description. Anyways, the first line basically defines what device we'll be using. In this case, we are using the ATtiny5. Next, we want to let the program know that we're starting to write the code, and that's with this line right here. After that, we want to set the program origin, and that's done with this line right here. Now, these next three lines are all variables, and they are used uh, for the delay between the servo positions. Moving on to the main function, we first want to set our uh, stack pointer, and we also want to set our clock to 8 megahertz. Now, since we are using timer 0 to generate the PWM pulses, we will need to set the timer 0 control registers. These registers will control things like the waveform generation mode and what the, out pin, or the output pins will do when the timer reaches certain points. In this case, I have the timer set to fast PWM and the pins are in inverted mode. Now, this next bit of code right here is used to set the servo output pin to output. Next, we want to set the input capture register to 19,999, generate the 20 millisecond interval for the servo pulses. And that's done with these four lines right here. After that, we want to clear registers 16, 17, and 18 because these will now be used for the delays. And then we enter the NOP or the NO operation just for synchronization. Now we move into our loop function. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set our output um, capture register and this will generate the um, 1000 to 2000 microsecond uh, pulse that the servo will read. Next, we want to call the delay, and this will create the like 1.5 second, I'm not exactly sure, uh, but it creates a delay between the servo positions. And that basically will go here, and so we want to push the, um, the R16, 17, 18 onto the stack, and then we want to load the delay values into these registers, and then we enter our delay loop, and this is just going to loop the program over and over again until they um, all hit zero, and then it will move on, and by that time, a certain amount of time will have passed. Anyways, after it's delayed, we then um, set, or set the output control register, or sorry, output capture register to a new value to change the servo position. Then we call the delay again, and we jump back to the beginning of the loop, start the program, or start the loop over and over again, so it keeps 
changing the positions. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the code. Obviously, there's a lot more in-depth, um, which the documentation will provide all the details necessary. But yeah, it'll get the servo up and running. So that's pretty much it. Anyways, I hope you guys will find this helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye!